Lawrence. I'm going to do a live stream on this art channel uh, every day, every Wednesday after my live stream on my Heather Boyd Wire channel. So it's going to be every day around, uh, every Wednesday around 3 p.m. Eastern time. For now, we'll see how it goes. I'm working on some watercolor flowers. So I'm just going to flip the screen and get started. Keep it simple. So let me just flip the screen. And... Actually, I don't think I have to flip the screen, so I'm just going to do it this way. Uh, so how do I do this? This way. And hopefully you'll be able to see that. If not, I will flip the screen because I've lost track of how it looks. So let me pull you up on my channel so I can see what we see here. Bear with me. Perfect. So yes, perfect. So now you guys can see what I'm doing. Hi, Kat. How are you? You're the first one on. This is going to be my new routine is doing uh, watercolor live streams after my wire are uh, a live stream. So it's going to be a double whammy. Uh, these are some ones that I've already done. These were inspired actually by some YouTube tutorials that I haven't looked at the tutorials. I just saw the project and winged it. So I'm going to link up those channels below for these tutorials and I will watch them one day. And so now here are some watercolor flowers. I'm going to kind of recreate some of these. I'm going to remove this. And what I like to do is I cut my watercolor paper. This is a hundred and 40 pound paper and I'm just going to set up a couple of them and what I usually do is I do this so that the um, the watercolor paper doesn't stretch so now I'm just going to position these in a place let me bring this down actually I just want to get this positioned so I won't go off the screen and I will just make sure these are up enough should be good yeah maybe about here I think we should be good, or I could bring this one down a bit, Ashley. So bear with me while I get the best set up here. That should be good. Yeah, there we go, perfect. So let me just tape these here, and then we're gonna get started. So I will, this is just masking tape, and like I said, I do this so the paper won't stretch. So 140 pound paper. You can use cold press or hot press. Hot press paper is um, smoother. And the cold press paper has a little bit more texture to it. So you can use either. I usually use smooth. This is this is more a slightly more rough than what I usually use, uh, but um, it should do the trick. So we're just gonna, and the other thing I reason the other reason I like doing this is it creates a nice little border around the paintings, which is nice. So we're gonna do that, and I am just going to pull this over here. And this one here, I'm not quite sure why my computer almost shut off, but that's okay. I'm going to keep an eye on it and the replay will be up. So if you guys don't have to like stay on by any means, I have a couple of different palettes. This is my usual palette that I use with all the basic watercolor uh, uh, colors. And so I'm going to use that one, but I also have another one that I like to use. I have water, I have my... I'm using uh, some paper towel and I also have these ones which I love which are Stuart Semple watercolors and I'll link up in the description where you can buy these and I love these because he's got all kinds of really unique sounding colors uh, Jealous, uh, Envy, Emerald City. My favorite is Butt Nugget which is hilarious so these are the Stuart Semple uh, colors and I these are very well used I've used these a lot so I will link up where you can get these in this description below as well so we're going to put those here and what I'm going to do to get started is I'm just going to get my picture that I'm working from and I'm just going to wing it but I'm also going to do a little bit of creative license with this because I want to um, try to do some different Techniques. So I'm going to do the tulips again, which is this one here that I did, but I want to actually play around with some textures. So we're going to, I'll put this one here so you can see what I'm going by. And I'm going to grab a little sip of water. This is going to be a very quick live stream um, because I don't have a lot of time. So I just wanted to play around with this. So what you can do is you can draw it first 
if you want to draw the tulips first. So you can go ahead and do that. And we're just going to I'm going to put this in a way that I can see it. And I'm going to just go ahead. Actually, I'm going to prop that up because I can't see what I'm working from. Bear with me. There we go. So now we're just going to, I should actually go to the garden and get a tulip. There are some there, but they're looking a little bit past their best. So I'm just going to go ahead and pretty well reproduce what I did here. So I'm just going to go ahead, do a very loose drawing for the tulip like that. And it's almost like you draw with a shaky hand because it just, you really don't want it too perfect. And we can even do another one over here and then just bring this down. It's nice to have like a little leaf going here, all right there. And then we can do another, another tulip here. So we're just gonna keep it like super simple. This can even go behind a little bit and then down here. And then this one can go that way and maybe just like a little leaf here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and get some paint. I'm just going to use, um, I'm just actually going to just turn off my iPod because I don't really need to go by the picture. I can just, I'm just going to play around with it. So I'm going to get some yellow. Sometimes I like to wet my colors first, the, the colors over here. So I'm going to just do like a little bit of yellow in there. And then we can go ahead and get some of our other colors. So I'm just going to like kind of wet these as I go. And I want to experiment with doing a little bit of uh, texture with it. So we're just going to go in here. I'm going to go ahead and just go pretty bold with this in here. And then get some other color, a little bit of like that's a little bit too dark. So I'm just going to let this like kind of go in there, bring this one around. And the idea is you want them to kind of like bleed together. Like this one for sure is a little dark. So if it's too dark, you just clean your brush and like clean it and lift some of the color off a little bit. I'm gonna go in here and bring that in there. So say this is where we're at right now. Now, if you want some texture in there, you can go ahead and get some salt you can get a bit of salt and just like pop it down in there a little bit to get some texture. And that you're gonna take off after the fact. So now if you don't want it to bleed into the other areas, just leave that and then we can go into our other areas. So now over here, um, the other thing that I have is rubbing alcohol and we can get textures with that as well. So I'm just going to actually pour a little bit in a pot I don't know if you can see here. I'll just pour a little bit in the pot. You can also like spray it, but once you have alcohol on your sheet, it can do some damage. So hi, Myrta, how are you? It's the most in painting. I'm so happy to see you. I'm just playing around with this because I already had done this painting and I'm experimenting with using some textures. So uh, using some uh, alcohol and the other thing you can use is um, is saran wrap. I have some previous videos that have uh, using saran wrap and stuff. So I'm just preparing some colors. I've got some uh, purple, I have some blues and some different colors here. So this is my messy palette here. So what I can actually do is maybe I'm just gonna move this over. I'm just gonna move this over so we can actually see the palette. So let me just scooch this over, bring this one over a little bit, bring the palette over so you guys can see it. I think it's gonna be better. There we go. So now you have a better idea of some of the colors that I'm using. I could bring it over a little bit more. So, and then I have my water over here. So I'm gonna mix. My palette's really, really dirty, but I've got some blues and I've got some purples. There we go. So Mirta, are you painting? Are you doing some watercolor? Let me know. I'm not sure if Kat's here or not. Cat, uh, Cat popped in to say hi, but I'm not sure if she's actually here right now. So we're gonna see. So now we have our colors set up. And then if I want to do 
um, this flower over here. I'm not going to go too accurate with it. I just really want to play. So we're going to bring this one in here and I'm going quite bold with the, with the watercolors this time. We're going to bring this one in here and there. Okay. I don't usually go this bold, but I want to try something a little bit different. So we're going to bring this one in here like that. And we can just bring a little bit more and that there. And then what I'm going to do is just for fun, I'm actually, I'm going to go up there after. So I'm going to actually let it dry a little bit because I see that it's maybe a little bit too wet. Because sometimes if you try to do textures when it's too wet, it doesn't really work so well, but we can try. So I'm going to actually now just get a little bit of my alcohol. Uh, well, like I said, it might be a little bit too wet, so we're going to see, and I'll just get a little bit of the alcohol. Oh, you're there, awesome, hi, Kat. So now we're just gonna like get a little bit of the alcohol and see, it's maybe doing like, some people like actually take the alcohol and do that type of thing, so that could be interesting too. But I don't know how well this is gonna work for the texture, but I'm just gonna try it. It's gonna be super funky. So now we just have those areas now. This might end up looking like super abstract, but I'm just going to play with it. So now we're gonna go in and just do a little bit more with the leaf. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna get some other like colors in there and more like a brown color or like a, dark, a darker green color in here and around here. There we go. So just for fun. And then up here, we can do another one. Yeah, next time I do a live, I'll have like sort of a maybe a more fixed project. I just wanted to really play around with these and see what they do. So we could do, do some different colors in there. Get something like a little brighter maybe. There we go. And then we also want to like start doing the stems. And around here, I don't want to bleed it in there yet. So I'm just kind of playing around and going like different areas of this. And then we're going to see how it goes. So maybe I'll get a little darker in there and there, and then just like jump up and get a little bit more, maybe a little more yellow to brighten it up. I'm just playing with this, having fun. There we go. Perfect. There we go, and this one too, we're not sure. So this, you might even want to dry it with the blow dryer. I don't have the blow dryer handy, so I'm just going to go ahead and then keep working on this one a little bit. So now I'm just going to go over here, get a little bit more on the orange side, and bring this one around, and bring this, and around a little bit like that. And I think we need a little bit more orange. That red is like a little bit too magenta-ish. So I'm gonna bring this one around. Yeah, I'm, I have no rhyme or reason with this. I'm just having fun with it around here. And that's still wet, so it's kind of blending in there, but that's okay. And I'm gonna get a little bit more of this one here. And watercolor is fun because you can just like watch it blend in together and it's not going to look so realistic, but I kind of like the textures. I find them really interesting. And like I said, the other thing you can get texture with is saran wrap. But for this one, I'm just going to play with this. We're going to get a little bit more of the magenta in there around here. I don't want it to bleed too much into the leaf, so hopefully it's not going to bleed in there. And we're going to bring this one around, but it looks, see the alcohol gives it a cool texture, like um, it looks like um, bubbles or something. So this, if it's too dark, you just clean your brush and you can lift it up a little bit and you can get rid of these like sharp lines and stuff too, if you want. Bring it around here. They look very like bizarre, these tulips, but I kind of like them. They're very, very bold. 
which is interesting. And then you can go in and get some more colors if you want. Hi, Mustafa. Mustafa, we missed you on the um, on the Wire live stream. I hope you're doing okay. I haven't talked to you in a while. I was going to DM you because I'm like, where is Mustafa? I haven't seen him in a long time, but you've been busy, I guess. Probably busy with school and family and stuff. So nice to see you. That's awesome. I'm just going to bring this one up here just to bend that up there. So yeah, let me know what you're working on. We used your um, resin pieces on the live stream today. That was fun. Yeah, I love those resin pieces. They're so nice. I was unable to catch the wire live. Yay, that's awesome. Well, we're doing like a super quick one, Mustafa. I just, I decided that now what I'm gonna do is go live on the art channel every time I go live on my wire one. So what I'm gonna do is, um, it will usually be around three o'clock Eastern time uh, for the art one. And um, I can't stay long today because I'm going up uh, to a friend's place. So it's just gonna be a quick one today. But I wanted to play around with some of these uh, textures and stuff uh, just to see how it would look. So I might even try like, what if it's probably too late to put alcohol on here, but I could try to put a little bit more alcohol on there. The alcohol makes a really cool effect it just gives it some neat textures. So that's interesting. I have salt, I have the alcohol, and you can also use the, um, uh, the saran wrap as well. So that's super fun. And, uh, and then after that, I could even go in with the marker and like touch it up and stuff. And then if I wanna do like a background, I can get some other color. I have this, you have lots of resin orders, that's awesome. There was a lady that asked me uh, for your contact for resin and did she contact you? I gave her your uh, Instagram. Uh, she asked on um, in the Wire Makers Club uh, how to get the resin. So I, I just uh, linked up your Instagram. So I hope that she contacted you because uh, she, was really, uh, she was really interested for sure. So that's cool. Yeah, I love your resin stuff. It's so fun. Yeah, really, really fun. So now if you want to go in and just get some, you know, do some a little bit of background, I just don't want it to like bleed in with the other stuff. But this is just to give you an idea. You can go in after and add a little bit of um, like kind of background areas. So I'm not going to add too much because I really don't want it to bleed in with the flowers. But you can go in and add some bit of, uh, just a little bit, like a, just a hint of color in there. And you can, if you get it there, you can just lift it off. So and if you get too much, just lift your brush and take a little bit off. And then also if I wanted to put like, just to make it a little bit more balanced, you can add a little bit more in here as well. That's a little bit much, Mustafa I had, uh, to do a 16 inch wall clock. Wow, that's cool. You went there for a week. Oh, how cool. Wow, that's amazing. I love that. Very nice. Way to go. You're doing awesome with that. I still have to really try the resin. So one day I will, maybe I'll do a live stream and we can try the resin together because I, I still haven't tried it yet. I'm a little bit intimidated by it. So um, yeah, we'll have to, you'll have to uh, cheerlead me into uh, wanting to do the resin. So I have the stuff downstairs. I just haven't got around to it. So now this is, I'm just like playing around this. I just wanted to give it a little bit of color, but I also don't want it to bleed into the flowers. So I'm just playing around with this and doing this. And then, and then you would just let it dry and that would be, that would be the flower. So that's, um, I'm just gonna let that dry now. And then I will post a picture. I don't, I can't, I don't have a community section in this channel, but I can post it in the art, in the Heather Boyd art uh, group. If you guys, if I know you, it's a private group. So if I know you, you can join the Heather Boyd art club um, group on um, Facebook. And then I can, oh, that doesn't work. That's already dried. So that's not going to work for the alcohol anymore, but that's okay. Yeah. So if I know you, you can join the group and, um, and uh, share pictures of your art in that group. So to help you, that would be amazing, but we'll, maybe we could do a zoom call or something, Mustafa for the, um, resin. That would be really great because I would love to, um, uh, learn a little bit more about the resin. So I'm going to flip the screen and say goodbye for now. It was a really, really quick one. 
So bye guys. Thanks so much for hopping on. So uh, be sure like next week and every Wednesday around three o'clock ish, I'll be doing a live stream on the art channel uh, just to get the ball rolling with that. I uh, usually be doing watercolor. I'll be doing drawing, collage, all kinds of different things. And uh, thank you guys so much for hopping on. And uh, that would be great if you could help me with the with the resin and the stuff. So we'll we'll get on that for sure. So have a great uh, have a great rest of the day, rest of the night. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye.